What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the black screen inside of OBS. And it is very simple. It's not that hard. It's going to be a real quick video. So if you're having trouble with the black screen whenever you're trying to do display capture, this is going to be the video for you. Also, if you're new to the channel and you find these videos help you out, consider subscribing, turning on the post notifications, and smashing that like button if these help you out. Also, check out the links in the description below. I got some cool gear, some tech gear, and some other stuff. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested, and let's get right into the video. All right, everybody, so we're inside of OBS. I have it opened up here, and as you can see, it's got a black screen where it should be display capture. On all these other scenes, I also have display capture, and none of them are working. Now, if you're like me and you've had this problem, it, it really sucks. It took me a little bit to figure this out, but I got it, and I also helped a couple people out before do this. Because now, as you can see, I can't even record on OBS. I would usually use OBS to record this video, but now i got to use my camera. So, as you can see, if you can't see too good, um, I'm going to try to zoom in. But if you listen to what I'm saying, you'll be able to follow along if you can't see too clearly. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our settings. Okay, once you get to settings, you're just going to go to system or wherever your display settings are. So usually it's going to be in system. So, well, if you're on a Windows computer, it's going to be in system. Then you click on the display tab. You're going to come all the way to the bottom and go to graphics settings. You see right here, it's right under the advanced display settings. So you're going to click on graphics settings. Now, what you're going to want to do just leave it on whatever it is up here if it's on desktop app or whatever um, then you're going to want to click browse when you click browse this is where we're going to look for our obs file now if you don't know where the file is chances are it's going to be in your c drive so you're going to want to look for something that says operating system os and c or if you can see this little hard drive picture next to it it's got the windows logo and the hard drive you just want to click on that and then you're going to want to look for uh, program files. Now there's going to be two folders usually for program files. I have three, but there's usually going to be two. So first you're just going to check the regular program files and you're just going to look for OBS. Okay, here it is. It says OBS Studio. You're going to click on it and when it opens up you're going to look for bin. You can click on bin, click on 64-bit, and you're going to come down here. Now, the one with the actual logo on it is going to be the one that we want right here. It's got the OBS logo. It says OBS 64. So we're going to click on that. Okay. Now it's going to bring it down here in our window. Now let me zoom on that so you guys can see. Okay. It's going to say let windows decide. Okay, you're going to go to options, and you're going to want to go to GPU, switch to power saving, where it says GPU Intel HD graphics. Um, now, what was happening before, why this wasn't working for you, chances are it was using the high performance because it's letting Windows decide. So it's probably choosing this NVIDIA graphics card, and when it does that, it doesn't show your screen. So you just want to switch to uh, power saving and make sure it says GPU Intel um, or whatever computer you're using. You don't want to use the NVIDIA one. So if you see one that says your graphics card and then one that says your GPU, you don't want to pick the GPU. Now this could be AMD or Intel. It don't matter. Just click that one. It's usually power saving and click save. All right, now that we got that saved, we're going to close this down, and we're going to close down OBS. Now that we close down OBS, I'm going to open it back up. Now, as you can see here on all three of my scenes, we got the display showing everything we want it to show, right? It's all fixed. Again, let's run through that real quick for you. First thing you want to do, go to Settings. 
Let's go back so you can see. Go to System. If you're on a Windows, go to Display. Right here, Display. Scroll down. Go to Graphics Settings. You're going to want to leave this one, whatever it was at, Desktop App or whatever. Then you're going to click Browse. When you click Browse, what you want to do is come here to the Operating System C. Then you're going to look for Program Files. Um, it could be in Program Files 86, but usually it's going to be in the regular programs. Then you're going to look for it. Here it is right here, OBS Studio. Click on it. You're going to click Bin, 64-bit, and come down to this one here. With the logo, it's got it right here. It's called OBS 64. Then you're going to click on that and add it. And then it's going to be right here. Then you're going to go to Options and click on you can click on power saving or whichever one has your actual CPU, which is this Intel graphics. You don't want it on the NVIDIA graphics, just the Intel or AMD, whichever one you're using. Um, just don't click the NVIDIA and then click save. Just make sure you close out OBS once and then you should be good to go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If the video helps you out, make sure to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.